Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. So this is our tenth video of our employee register application, and we are creating this application with the help of Django uh, and React JS. So in our previous video, we have uh, we have fetched the data and show in our list section. Now in this video, we will add the data. We will post the data to the database and uh, show in the list section and. Uh, we will see how to do this, how to post the data with the help of REST API that we have created in our uh, in our previous videos. So we will use this API to post the data. So let's do this. So I will open my add.js file. I'll close these files. I will open my add.js files and this is a functional component. So I will make this as a a uh, class component so extends and we will extend the react dot component and here so because we are using the react component so this extends the spellings is wrong so we need to use the render method so here i will use the render method and i will indent the code okay so now in this in this uh, class i will create the constructor because i want to use the i want to use the state property state object so here if you use the constructor in javascript then you need you need to define the super method so it will inherit the parent properties of the class and now here we will define the state and in the state i will define the data so this is these are my form data so here i will define full name and here i will define the email and contact and then address okay so we have data we will send this data uh, in uh, we will send the data with the help of api to the database now we have defined the state now here we will define two things the first thing will be name so name will be the name should be the same as the object name so here i have defined the name this name will be address contact and email and i will define method here two methods input change handler and submit submit form so in the change handler we will create a function change handler and then i will use this in console I just want to check this this uh, method is working or not input has been changed okay and now I will do the same thing for the submit button submit form so here I will do submit form so I will put here data data submitted okay so now we need to define here on change on change equal to this dot because we are in class so that i'm using this dot this dot so please uh, remember that we cannot use this uh, this property as a this kind of character we need to use as a this kind of camel case letter so this is uh, we are because we are using in, in this uh, react jsx so it will be used as like this camel case so now we will define this in all input elements and in the submit i will define click so on click it will be at this dot this dot submit form okay so let's see this let's see in the add let's see in the add component so why it is saying that we need to actually start the npm start this is a, this is the 
uh, our front end application window and this is the our uh, Django application window in this I am running Django application and in the second command line I am running the react application we need the Django application running because we want to use the API so that I am running the Django application and here it is taking time to showing the data so it is showing now so when we click on the add then I will open the console so that we can see and it is saying that tier cannot appear as a child of table so we need to wrap this tier as a t body so I will wrap this as a t body we need to wrap this okay so here we have wrapped it now now it is showing ok and we will use john so you can see input has been changed so whenever we go to any input then it will show the input has been changed and then we will submit the data submitted now we have defined the function then our, now our main work will be start so we need to what we will do I will change this value whatever we type in the input then we want to set the full name as typed in the input so here we will do this dot state this dot set state and we will set the value and I will use the event I will use the context of this element so I am using the event and here I will use the event dot target dot name so that I am uh, I so that I have keep the same name as a input name because I am using I am not using manually all the names I am using the name whenever we type on the input then it will automatically put uh, uh, take the name of that input and here I will define the value target target dot value okay so we have uh, we have set the data so now we will show this data I am showing this data in the console so set state okay so let's see what will it, it will return John and it is saying that cannot read properties set because in the function we cannot use this we need to bind this function with the uh, this context with the, uh, this keyword so in the constructor we need to define we need to define this dot change handler equal to this dot change handler dot bind with dot bind with this because without uh, binding we cannot use it, this keyword in the function Okay, so let's see now. So here I will type John. So you can uh, you can see here it is showing the data. So now what we will do? Now we will submit the form. Okay. So I will submit the form. So we will use the fetch fetch method. We'll use the fetch method, and URL will be our this URL. So this URL we will be using for getting the data and posting the data but the method method will be changed when the when we run in the browser this URL then the default method get will show the data and when you use this URL with the post method then it will take data from the post and save in the database so I'm going to use this URL with post method so here I will going to use so in this I will define method method and and then I will define body so I will send the data as a stringify and in this I will send the data this dot state and one more thing we need to define we need to send the head text type header type so I will copy this from here so header dot py file or not py actually header 
property and I am sending the JSON data. So I am setting this headers dot headers dot not headers dot the header property. Okay. So we are sending this data. So this is fine now. Now we will whenever we, it will return then we'll then we will convert it to json and then we will get the data get this data and console this data okay so here we will use data and the bracket will be this okay now in the submit form we are posting the data and in the change handler we are getting the data and set in the state and after submitting the form we will empty this data so here what we will do so let's see this first well, let's see this then we will work on the next thing so in the in the form we will use uh, like uh, king and we will use so this is the arbitrary name you can make you can keep it as like whatever you can and this is test this is test and submit so here you can see we have a uh, we have submitted the data so that it is showing the id so if i go to the django application then it will show the id here you can see we have a data id and uh, we have a application so now we need to whenever we successfully send the data then we need to uh, empty this form so what we will do here after the sum after submitting the form we, we will define this we will set this data we will set this data uh, we will here set set state we will set state empty values and in the input in the input we will set this as a this dot state dot full name okay so here i will copy this and paste in the contact and address also and change the value address contact email okay so here we have data now let's add let's add one more data so i will change this moco gene and it will be moco gene at the rate gmail.com and this will be a and this is test address okay submit so data form has been empty and data has been submitted let's check the data so you can check it here because it is returning the id so that uh, you can make make sure that data has been submitted so data has been submitted uh, with the help of rest api so we have completed it so what we have done in this video we have we have uh, sent the data from the react js application to the database with the help of django rest api so i hope you are enjoying this series i hope you enjoyed this video so please subscribe this channel and like this video share this video and thank you for watching this video thank you thank you very much